Hello, today we're looking at Ubuntu 18.10 Daily Birds. Today is the 20th of August and over the weekend Ubuntu released the new shell theme and theme which we all know about the, the, the Jaro theme for Ubuntu 18.10. So if you download the ISO now for, for Ubuntu 18.10 Daily Birds so, or if you already have it, just update your computer and you will get a new theme. And as you can see, the locking manager, the locking screen already looks much better, much brighter. And it really looks like fresh. I hope it up. There we go. And immediately we can tell a difference by the looks of this system of the new theme. As you can see, this is no longer purple or orange, it's blue. It's like a bright light but let's open up a file system or something to make it full screen because it just looks so much better when it's dark as you can see it's like bright highlighted colors and it really really looks good and settings it just looks so much more fresh and and alive, if you can tell it. I like the blue. I like uh, I like the icons. As you can look here. Even Amazon looks okay. <laughs> and it's just a very nice theme. As you can see, that is dark here. The icon theme. We in Ubuntu 80.10. We are still waiting for GNOME 3.30 when it will be when we when it will be released and I really hope that we will get files 3.30 also which will be fantastic to get like the latest of the complete package of GNOME as you can see the calendar looks sharp. I like the new dress icon also and if we remove it, it just looks, everything looks so much more brighter and official. And if you can see it, it's like settings icon looks neat. Let's edit the favorites. Software and updates. I love these icons. They got now, if you go to all, you would see all the, even the Amazon icon looks so nice actually. Even though it's something we all, many of us don't, don't like, but it really looks nice. Gnome, all the Gnome apps got their own new icons, which really looks so good. Live Office, Firefox, they still the same. They still remain with the same icons in all the other apps as well. So that's a good thing. So it's just like the default icons. They change, but the apps which you will download will still look exactly as it, as it was. And as you can see, it just looks professional, professionally looks clean. And it's a step for sure in the right direction. Winter got a nice, nice facelift. As you can see, it just looks very nice. Yeah, let's look what the helps is written about. Yeah, it's just a nice theme and it's good that it's already out now, like two months before the release date. So it's time to start to fix it up and see how it goes and all the stuff. But man, it's a beautiful release and absolutely even the terminal looks smooth. And if we let's run and all our if if we go like to let's go to Testrowatz Testrowatz or something like that which we can have a scroll button and we can look at how that looks like Testrowatch.com As you can see, scroll is orange here. 
but the other sides I know this is like different colors so but orange is the best so it's still orange here so it's a combination between orange and blue with your blue color here orange here orange scroll button so it's like a combination and purple is when you like play around on your, on your desktop and it's just a it's just a very nice theme I'm glad I waited until now to have everything smooth because I was planned to have this already for Ubuntu 18.4 and if you look at it now it's really smooth it's really beautiful and it's just a nice operating system and so as I said you don't have to install anything anymore you can just go to Ubuntu 80.10 and download the ISO or update your current version and you will have it and it's if you go to the lock screen this still looks the same but this looks it just looks so beautiful and let's look uh, look at how the all buttons and things is looking it's white and it's clear it's just a great great theme and it makes Ubuntu 80.10 fresh. Yeah, I love it. Thank you for watching. See you later. Oh, and also, and it's also, sorry, sorry, sorry. If we look at quickly, if, if you quickly look at, as you can see, I'm running this virtual box, but I'm running Ubuntu 80.10 on my daily driver also. It's a bit crazy. It's still on Xorg as a default. And it's the default Ubuntu theme that looks like it now. So it's not an extra working screen. This is a default Ubuntu screen. And Wayland looks, I guess it looks exactly the same. I have not tested it yet. So that's always fun. <laughs> yes, it looks exactly the same as it looks. Also pretty awesome. Control H. That's when I control and tap together. And it looks so good. Yeah, so thumbs up for Ubuntu and Ubuntu 80.10 is getting very excited. Exciting and also if you are wondering it's already kernel 4.0. 17 yeah if we open up a terminal i press ctrl alt and t together it's generic 4.17 so it's up to date and it's fresh and absolutely worth checking out wallpaper is still ubuntu 18.4 as we can expect it will change closer to the closer to the release date but as you can see, work is happening and this will be an awesome release. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.